Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is another look at one of the new features or the updated features of the Windows 10 version 2004 or what might be called the May 2020 update. Once again this is coming soon to a computer near you since it's in release preview usually it means it's not very far away probably in the month of May. One of the features that was introduced a year ago on the May 2019 update is Windows Sandbox. Windows Sandbox is simply a virtual Windows. And every time you start it, it's like starting a brand new, um, fresh install of Windows 10. It's great because it's in a virtual environment that is, you know, sandbox. That means it is in its own little world. If you do something in there that has viruses or problems, you're not infecting or damaging your main Windows install. And that's why it's nice to have. Uh, it is available in the Pro version and Enterprise, but not in the Home version, unfortunately. But there is and there are some few uh, improvements in the Windows Sandbox mode in the uh, version 2004. In this new version, you can now set a batch file or a uh, settings file, if you want, so that you can have configuration files set up your start of the sandbox, the Windows 10 sandbox, with features already turned on or some um, settings already changed. So that is the first improvement that was not available before you have to restart every setting all the time. Now you can actually have a config file that will actually set up your sandbox mode the way you want. It also um, has certain settings, enabling, disabling vGPU, allows network access, and also um, more um, features like uh, some of the devices that weren't available before, including microphones, are now available with Windows Sandbox. So it's a nice virtualized environment. You need to have a PC that is capable of virtualization in the CPU level. And once that is enabled, well, you can actually start a Windows Sandbox. It is not installed by default. If you wish to have this feature enabled, you need to go to the Control Panel. Once in the Control Panel, you will go on the Programs and Feature tab. And the Programs and Features, you will have on the upper left, turn Windows Features on or off. And here you will have in this um, panel the sandbox windows sandbox you need to put a check mark it's going to install the files needed it's going to ask you to restart and if everything is all right you should have windows sandbox simply by typing in the uh, search sandbox you will see some windows sandbox mode app appear so a few new features and a little more interaction with the outside world including network is what is new in this uh, new sandbox of windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.